Yo guys and welcome back to the Nottingham Forest Korea mode. I hope guys are having a brilliant day. In today's episode, our FA Cup journey starts away at Burton Albion. And then we're at home to Swansea City in the Premier League. The last episode wasn't great. We picked up a point away at Middlesbrough and then got defeated away at the bridge. Obviously against Chelsea 1-0. But we did make a couple of signings. We made one signing and we made a pre-contract signing. Fabio Barini is coming for next season. He's only 30,000 on the wages which is actually very cheap to be honest I think well in my opinion it's cheap but Abel Hernandez obviously Asam Belonga going to Hull and Abel Hernandez coming to Nottingham Forest his current form two goals in five Premier League games which is is actually pretty decent 77 overall rated 28 years old he's quick he's strong he's good on the ball he's got decent finishing very good penalty stat as well good curve as well volleys overall I'm actually very happy with that hopefully because Asam Belonga wasn't quite doing it for me. I believe he, he should have been getting more goals with the stats he had. So hopefully Abel Hernandez can be the man up top. Hopefully getting us at least, I know it's January, but in the Premier League, hopefully getting to that 15 goal mark. It's a, it's a tough ask, obviously, because it is January. But I, I believe he can do it. But let's get into our first game in this episode. Away at Burton Albion. Hopefully, I'm not in great form recently. So hopefully we can get through to round four. So as you saw, I've gone for a four-man defence in this game against Burton Albion in the FA Cup. It's basically a wide diamond. So we've got width, we've got that holding player, and we still got the attacking midfielder, which is Lee Rofo. We've got Tierney at left back, and obviously Davis up top. Abel Hernandez is on the bench because he's only just come back from injury. I just totally forgot that his stamina would not be up high enough to start this game. So he will be appearing in the second half. So... Davis up top, let's see what he can do. Mansin wins possession back. Go on, Davis, over the top. Oh, it's nice. Good first touch. He's had it with his head across the keeper. What a touch that was with his head to set it up for the volley. Very good save again, though. Here we go. Mansin down line to P um, Davis, not Piera. Lee Rofer now. Who's making a good run? No one. Who's making a good run? Lee Rofer is. Oh, what a pass that is on his left foot. Oh, what a tackle. Very good tackle. What a pass from Tyler Walker to Lee Refer. The keeper is thrown out here. In danger. Turner, what's he going to do with it? He's going to have to boot it. Don't know what the keeper's doing there. And we'll win possession. Here we go. Aaron's into Davis. Come on, someone make a decent run. Into Walker. Back into Davis. We're going to have a strike here on his left foot. Good save again. It's only been just under 20 minutes. And I think their keeper's made about three or four saves. Here we go. Burton Albion on the attack here. Riley has a strike towards goal on Pickford. Wow, their first first chance with the ball in this game. They haven't even had the ball, to be honest. It's just been all of us. But what a strike that was. It was going in. Very good save from Pickford. Piera wins possession. Fossi Mensa. Lee Refer going to play it through to Reese Davis. Here we go. Someone make a decent run. Going to pull it over the top to Tyler Walker. Oh, it's got through to him on his left foot. Oh, it's past the post. Kieran Tierney on the ball here. Fossi Mensa. Piera going to play it first time up to Aaron. A touch and a strike at goal. He tries to finesse. Oh, not far away. Was no power on that whatsoever, but wasn't far away. You can't really tell from the angle, but wasn't far away from the goal. Lee Rofer, what a tackle that is. Up to Davis. Through to Lee Rofer. Surely this has to be 1 0. Go on, son. Yes, what a finish. 1 0. We definitely deserve that. We probably deserve another couple of goals as well. But you know what? Half-time 1-0. I'll definitely take that. But hopefully the second half can continue like this. Because we have just been absolutely dominant. But now we're on the attack here. But Thomas Lamb does well. Lee Rofer. Fossi Mensa. Gorn Walker. Nice pass. Going to turn inside. Give it up to Lee Rofer. Wait for a run. Who's making a good run? It's fallen to Fossi Mensa. Oh, what a powerful strike. Not the keeper off his feet. What a powerful strike. It was lucky the way it fell to him, but what a strike that was. Reese Davis on the wing here, playing in the middle to Lee Refer. Back into Davis. Fossu Mensa going to play it in the middle to Osborne. Turn it. Still in possession somehow. Turn it on his left foot. A strike at goal. Oh, it gets deflected over the crossbar. 
Just flashed past the goalkeeper. He had no chance of getting that if it was on target. Burton Albion corner, 53 minutes played. They've come out much better than they were in the first half. They put a cross in, but Lee Refer gets up well. Can we prevent them from continuing this attack? Go on, go on, son. No, three players around him, but Piera does well. I'm going to turn. Oh, that's a nice ball into Osborne. I'm going to play it through to Walker. Go on, Piera. Go on, son. Oh, he's got through. Got a big open gap on his left foot. A strike, a goal. Is that a corner or is that a goal kick? Oh, what a poor shot that was. Right, we played 67 minutes and we are still only 1-0 up. In that first half, we definitely deserved about two or three goals to completely kill the game off. But it's only 1-0 and no matter who you're playing and no matter who you are, 1-0 is always a dangerous scoreline. So we're going to make a couple of changes. I think we're going to bring Fossi Mensah off and put Livermore in that holding role. Aaron's off on the right-hand side looking a little bit tired. We're going to bring Forrest on. And I don't know whether to bring Hernandez on. He's so tired because obviously he's just come back from injury. Stamina's so low. So I think I might just leave him off. I think I'm just only two subs in this game. Forrest and Livermore coming on. Abel Hernandez will feature and start against Swansea so I'm looking forward to that but hopefully these subs can push us on get us a second goal and just kill this game off here we go on the left hand side we're going to play it down line from Tierney to Osborne we're going to put a cross in it's decent go on Davis oh Turner gets it out he's not taking any risk there with the keeper coming out he gets it out and it's a corner kick here we go hopefully we can get a second goal here it's decent oh we get up but it's only fallen to Reese Davis on his left foot oh there was no power on that strike whatsoever, but the keeper makes it look harder than it actually was, I think. And is that not a free kick? No, it's a Burton Albion throwing, apparently. Walker on the ball, first time into Davis. Look at the space here for Forrest. Fresh legs, someone getting the box. Walker's arriving, header 2-0. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's hit the post and then bounced along the line and hit the other post. Unfreaking believable. I'm so glad of at least got the lead in this game because I feel it's what at the minute I feel it's one of those games where I'm not going to score but like I just said I'm thankfully I'm thankful not I'm thankfully I'm thankful that I've actually scored and got the lead in this game here we go Reese Davis gets tackled Naylor on the ball puts a little dink into the box and but an Albion man there tries the scissor kick but doesn't work out does it We're into injury time of this game but an Albion get a free kick in a very dangerous position it's got headed out but it's only gone to Palmer and he does absolutely nothing with it. And that should be full time. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. Put us through to round four. Come on. There we go. We are through to round four. Only by the skin of our teeth, by the scoreboard. 1 0. We def the second half wasn't that great. We didn't dominate like we did in the first half. But at half time, we had 11 shots and they had one. That's how dominant we were. But the main thing is, we got through to round four. Swansea on the attack here, down the right hand side, Visca, is it Fiska? Not sure, but Norton in the middle to Gilfie, he's turned me, he's on his left foot, has a strike towards goal, hits the post, get it out, Aaron's, yes, Jesus Christ, it wasn't the best of strikes, it seemed like scuffed across the floor, but it's still dangerous. Livermore to the right hand side, Aaron's going to play it into Liv um, Leroy first, shall I say, not Livermore, Abel Hernandez up to, oh, it's just about... Got through to him still. Locatelli on his left foot straight at the keeper. Get across in Leroy Fern. No, it's a corner kick. Very good save from Fabianski. Great play. Still just about got through to Livermore. If it actually got through to him cleanly, I think that definitely would have been 1-0 because he was through on goal for a 1-1 one -on -one situation. But 10 minutes in, Aaron's going to whip in the corner. It's decent. Congolo gets up. Norton off the line. What a header that was. Keeper was well beaten. Swansea on the attack here in the middle to Kishner. Oh, what a nice little ball through that is to Hauler. Plays it back into Kishinar. First time finish. Just past the post. They've hit the post. They've just had that skid along the ground. Just whistling past the post. And we've had one cleared off the line. There could have been a couple of goals in this game already. Swansea City playing some great football here. But Mansing going to make a tackle? Nope. Norton plays it to the right-hand side. Are we going to make a tackle? Is he going to play it down the line? 
Going to play it in the middle here to Norton. He's going to play it through. No, he's going to have a strike towards goal on his left foot. Swansea, definitely the better team in this game so far. Very surprised at how well they're actually playing at the minute. I know they can play good, but they are playing unbelievable. Gilfie on the ball here, the right-hand side. Play, oh, plays a nice little one-two with his teammate. Whips in across. It's a dangerous one, but Lamb gets it out. But it's only gone to a Swansea City shirt, Cork. And we win possession. Nope, we don't. The Swansea man wins it back. Plays it to Hauler. Has a strike on his left foot. I think that's about their fourth or fifth strike towards goal. Pickford is, at the moment, it looks like he's going to be a busy man in this game. And I've just given the ball away again. Gilfie down the line into Keeson Young. He puts across to the near post. Manson gets up, gets it out. But Gilfie wins possession. Have a volley towards goal. But Fossey Mensa gets it out. I am under real pressure in this game so far. Swansea on the attack again. But we win possession. Here we go, Locatelli to the right-hand side. Aaron, go on, son, you've got the pace. You've got the pace. Go on, son, where's Abel Hernandez? Is he running to the back post? No, he's not. He's running to the near post. Oh, nearly gets through to him. Nearly gets through to him. Unlucky. Here we go, Fossi Mensa wins possession. Abel Hernandez through to Locatelli. Go on, son, this would be totally against the runner play. Oh, Fernandez, what a tackle. And we've got an injury. Oh, God. Here we go, Livermore wins possession back. Locatelli up to Abel Hernandez on his left foot. It was decent. That's his first attempt towards goal. Swansea with a much better team in the first half. I definitely need to up my game for this second half. And here we go. Locatelli to the right-hand side. Go on. A touch. Across the keeper. What a save. Here we go. Locatelli. Look at the space here for Aarons. Look at the space here for Aarons. We're going to play a through ball. Down to Abel Hernandez to the left-hand side. We're going to turn. Give it short into Locatelli. First time finish on his left foot. Goal kick. 60 minutes played in this game. We're going to change the formation up. It's the same formation that I used in the FA Cup away at Burton Albion. It's going to give us two strikers up top. It's going to give us more width as well. So we're going to bring Walker on for Locatelli. And obviously at right back, we're going to bring Livermore off. He's on the yellow card as well. And bring on Piero. Hopefully it can make a big difference in this game. It's definitely needed because Swansea are still, still the better team. It's up in the air here. Fossi Mensa should be winning that. And he does. Plays it to Walker. He's going to turn his man here. He's going to turn two. He's going to hit across the keeper. What a save. Leroy Ferguson, though. No. He's going to lay it off here for Osborne for a cross. Back post. Oh, Walker comes in with a scissor kick and hits it off the side netting. Wow. Unbelievable. If that went in, that would have been freaking amazing. But unlucky. Here we go. That's a nice pass into Leroy Ferguson. Going to wait for a run. Leroy Fer's made it. Going to play it over the top to Abel Hernandez. Can this be a dream debut? Yes, it can. 1-0. Is he going to get us the three points? How long left? 20 minutes left. And Abel Hernandez, what a finish. I think I thought the first touch was just like not enough or just a bit too much or so. I thought the keeper was going to come out. But what a finish that was. Abel Hernandez on his debut puts us 1-0 up. Gilfie, gone, he's gone through three of my players. Plays it in short to his teammate, Visca. Has a strike to the near post, but Pickford... Hasn't had to do much in this second half, but he does very well there. Couple minutes remaining. Swansea are putting everyone forward apart from the goalkeeper. And we're going to get... Oh, no. Get it out towards their goal. I would have been one-on-one -on -one situation. But Swansea still on the attack here. Hit the post. And thankfully, we get it out. Here we go. Aarons gets the ball. Are we going to win it? Yes, we are. Walker does well. In the middle here to... Oh, Mansion. I wanted it into Fosu Mensa. But here we go. Abel Hernandez. Fossi Mensa now on the ball. Going to play in the middle to Leroy Fur. To the right-hand side here is Tyler Walker. Across the keeper. Oh, it's a great save. Osborne, come on, son. Throwing. That could have buried the game because they're throwing everyone forward. And I'm actually nervous that they probably will score. Here we go. Walker on the ball. Look at the space here for Abel Hernandez. Is he going to double his goal tally for his debut? Here we go, Abel Hernandez, 2-0, game over. They threw too many bodies forward, and they have paid the price. They have paid the price, and it is 2-0, and we pick up a vital three points. Abel Hernandez on his debut, getting us to three points. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. There we go. The full-time whistle has been blown. We pick up a massive three points. Abel Hernandez on his debut, getting two points goals to get us the win unbelievable signing so far
And the scout reports are finally back. William Remy and Lucas Dussart. I think William Remy is going to be the man to buy. 76 overrated. 75, not much difference. 5 million value. 3.7 million value. So he's obviously cheaper. A little bit more expensive on the wages. But it's only 5,000, which is absolutely nothing. Look at the jumping stat. Look at the strength. Look at the aggression. He's quick as well. He's got good stamina. He's decent on the ball. Got good passing. Good tackling. Let's take a look at Lucas Dussart. He's, he's probably a little bit better technically, but physically, obviously, much, much stronger. 98 strength stat, which is unbelievable. But I'd rather have him because of his other physical stats. I do love a quick, strong, good-in-the-air player. My physical, physical stats have to be good. So, William Remy, we are going to go ahead and put a bid in for him. We're going to go ahead and put a straight £3.5 million bid in for him. 27 years old. He'd be a good player to replace Diame in the squad. So the transfer offer has been accepted for William Remy. 3.5 million. His value is 3.7. So we got him for a little bit less. Not much. Only £200,000. But still less than his value. Which is a pretty decent deal. He wants £30,000. Three year deal. And I think we will give him important first team players. So let's go ahead. Skip ahead. See if he accepts before this Manchester City game. I think he will because it's three days. So let's skip ahead. See if he accepts before this City game. And there we go. He has accepted the contract. Obviously got a bit of tournament prize money as well from the FA Cup. £85,000 which is absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead. Accept the contract for William Remy. 76 oval rated. CDM. 27 years old. It's a pretty decent deal in my opinion. He will be available for the start of the next episode, which is obviously at Manchester City. I'm not even sure if it's at home or if it's away. We've got an email coming in, a transfer offer for Matt Ritchie. Okay, 4.1 million. His value is 4.6. Let's go ahead and ask for £5 million from West Brom. £5 million is still, it's still an okay deal for Matt Ritchie, to be honest. Let's go ahead, skip ahead. I think we've only got one day anyway. One day until the Man City game. Are oh, West Brom going to come back before that? Yes, they are. 4.1. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and accept it because we want to get rid of him. His stats are starting to decline, which means his value will decline as well. His value will obviously get lower. So, and Grant wants to play against Manchester City. I don't think that's going to happen some, but Spurs have signed Lukaku, £52 million, which is pretty cheap, to be honest, considering this day and age with the transfers going around with crazy money. That's pretty cheap. But in the next episode... We have Manchester City away. We'll obviously have the the deadline day as well. And Liverpool away in the FA Cup round four. Wow, that is insane. Let's go ahead quickly, get into the table, see where we currently sit. We're in ninth place again. We were in 10th place before that Swansea game. But we are now on 30 points, only four points off the top four. It's looking good. It's looking good. That Swansea game was very good. Abel Hernandez looks like a very good signing so far. So that is going to conclude this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.